Hello fellow travelers, welcome back to Globe Trot with Taj. I am excited to take you along on our recent family adventure tour, Urg, a beautiful gem nestled in the western ghats of Karnataka. The journey began at the majestic bus stand in Bangalore where we caught a KSRTC bus headed for Madikeri, the gateway to Urg. With the monsoon in full swing, the landscapes on the way were a lush green feast for the eyes. After a scenic ride, we finally arrived in Madikeri and settled in our cozy holiday home tucked right in the mountains. Later that day, we strolled through the bustling Madikeri markets filled with local spices, handcrafts and delicious cool coffee. It was a perfect relaxed start to our adventure. Our second day began with an exciting trip to the Dubare Elephant Camp. The monsoon rains had swelled the river, so we took a boat across to reach the camp. In the dry season, you can cross the river by foot. The elephant camp was an incredible experience where we had the chance to see elephants up close as they bathed and fed. For just 50 rupees, anyone can participate in feeding them. Taj was thrilled by the sight of these gentle giants. <laughs> Next, we visited the Golden Temple or Namdorling Monastery, one of the largest Tibetan settlements in South India. Founded in 1963, this monastery is a peaceful retreat and home to hundreds of the monks. The architecture and the golden statue were mesmerizing. had a fun time playing in the gardens here, adding to the peaceful ambience. Hey. Our next stop that day was Nishargudhama, a scenic river island surrounded by dense bamboo forests. Due to the rains, we couldn't explore every part, but our short nature walk was refreshing with the sound of the river and the lush greenery all around. To wrap up day 2, we visited a local coffee plantation. Walking through rows of coffee plants nestled in the misty hills was an unforgettable experience. The fresh aroma of the coffee beans filled the air and we learned about the intricate process that goes into market to the perfect cup. On our third day, we started early, heading first to Abbey Falls. The sight of the falls cascading down amidst the green forest was breathtaking. A short walk down some steps led us to a viewing area where we could really feel the mist on our faces. Next, we visited Raja's tomb, an ancient monument that houses the tombs of the Kodava kings built in the indo saranic style. The tombs offer a peek into Kurg's royal past and are surrounded by a peaceful garden too.
Then it was time to visit Omkareshwar Temple, a unique blend of Islamic and Gothic architecture built in the 19th century. It's said to have been built by King Lingarajendra to atone for his past actions and is dedicated to Lord Shiva. The temple's tranquil setting amidst the scenic landscape made it a peaceful stop on our trip. Our next stop was the Rajasid Garden in Madikeri. From here, we enjoyed panoramic views of Kurg Misty Hills. The garden is dotted with vibrant flowers and the scenic views are just perfect for photos. We ended the day with a visit to Thalkaveri Temple and Bhagamandala Temple, the origin of the Kaveri River. Unfortunately, we couldn't film much due to heavy rain, but the serenity and spirituality of the places were wonderful to experience. Finally, we reached Kaveri Sangama where the sacred river meets two tributaries, making the end of our cool tour. On day 4, we said goodbye to Kul, carrying memories of Misty Hills, vibrant local cultures and heartwarming moments with family.